Oh, look at your little biddle. Just the cutest little biddle. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the damn bar for another Big B beer review. Today we have, what do we got here? Let's see. Let's see where is it at. There it is. This one is quite unique and messy. Okay. Red Horse Beer. Yep. The one, the only Red Horse Beer. I've never had any kind of a Red Horse Beer. I've heard of it, but I've never had it. Experience that distinctive, full flavored taste of a world class premium beer. Expertly brewed and packaged under the supervision of San Miguel Brewery Incorporated, Philippines, by San Miguel Beer, Thailand Limited, Thailand. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so it's a Thailand beer for sure. For export only, they have one here. 8% ABV. Red Horse Beer. Red Horse is the first extra strong beer, um, I'm sorry, the first extra strong beer brand in the Philippines. It is a high alcohol lager of the San Miguel Brewery with an alcohol content of 8%. Well, in, actually there it's 6.9% uh, in the Philippines, 8% international only. So in the Philippines it's usually 6.9%. But the exports are stronger. I guess they give the strong stuff to us. Probably for a shipping thing, I'm sure, too. Um, it was once introduced in response to Asia Brewery. Red Horse comes in various sizes, including the flag. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about that. So it's been, it was introduced in 1982. Nice. Nice. 1982. Okay. All right. Interesting. The San Miguel Brewery, by the way. No, that can't be. Well, never mind about that. I didn't get to go back. But they 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 are a newer brewery that bought the one that started making this. Because they the San Miguel Brewery was only founded 16 years ago in 2007. So I'm, I'm guessing they acquired the... Uh, yeah, they, they, there's a whole bunch of buying out and lots of money going on around and all that. So I'm excited about this. Um, I do believe it's just a lager. All right. Yes, it is. All right, let's get it open. Okay. Just an average crown. Smells like beer. Smells like a, like your Budweiser or Coors or something. Your average macro beer. All right. Yeah. All right. Hey, I mean, it looks like your average, like it could be a Coors or a Steel Reserve. But Steel Reserves are 8% too. I'm guessing it's like a high gravity beer would be my guess. Anyways, so as you see, the head's already dissipating kind of fast. It's starting to shrink pretty dry. Yeah, pretty dry looking, spacious, spongy looking head. Oh, that's really clear though. Look at that. Yeah, baby, that's nice and clear. Nice. All right. Color-wise, that's a pretty good gold. I'd say it's a good five. Yeah, it's definitely about a five on the that's around there. 
All right. Like I said, it smells like a macro beer. It has that, that, that like, uh, sort of a malty copper smell, sort of. But it it's not a bad thing. I'm going to get a nip of the head before it's gone if I can. Okay. Mm. Nothing exciting. It's slightly sweet, actually. I was surprised by that. I'm kind of expecting this to maybe be something like a Steel Reserve or an Edge, which they don't make edges anymore. Salute. Okay, um, yeah, kind of like what I was saying. It's not too far off from like a, uh, a Steel Reserve. I don't think it's as robust in flavor as a Steel Reserve, which is, you know, it's like, which is kind of a good thing too, I, would, I think, you know. I don't know, it's not bad. It's not bad, you know. I gotta say, it's enjoyable. Something tells me if it warms up, it probably wouldn't be as good. Um, I'm surprised. No booziness. You know, I'm not getting a booziness off this. I cannot tell this is 8% by drinking it. I mean, I could just be uh, tongue blind to that by now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really getting a lot of, I mean, I'm surprised. There's a slightly malty sweetness. Not really getting much hop in there. But I'm guessing that it kind of balances it a little. So. All in all, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's got a weird finish to it. But, I mean, it's an export. Or import, whatever. Kind of like a weird multi sweetness um, Not too bad, you know. More like a medium body, real smooth. Surprising that I thought it might be a little bit more crisp. Not too bad. Food wise, though, uh, I'd like to have good old you know hamburger with this. Fast food hamburger, McDonald's, Big Mac. I'll tell you, or a Whopper. That'd be great with this. Oh man, a Whopper would be perfect with that. Whopper with cheese. Yes, please have it my way. All right. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot going on there. It is a good beer. I mean, hell, look, there's even some lacing going on. So, online, on a tap with over 31,000 reviews, it gets a 3.04. Not too good. Beer Advocate, with 139 reviews, it gets a 64 out of 100. That's, that's, that's poor. <clears throat> Excuse me. With an average of 2.62. That's pretty poor. I guess I can understand it. All these people are just wanting, you know, IPAs and stuff all the damn time. And you know, they, they go around to turn things that have been around for a long time into trash. When really it's not. It's not a bad beer. I'd drink that again. I would. I'd absolutely drink that again. A dollar eighty. So almost two dollars for the bottle is what might stop me. For like two bucks, I can go get the big tall boy still reserve. Or like the same price and that's eight percent too it tastes good too so and all of that it's hard to find here if it was readily available all the time and but they'd be in the same price and you get a 20 something or whatever ounce of uh of uh, uh still reserve that's what gets me it had to be cheaper um or put these in the big big bottles or cans i would buy it again though possibly Maybe just to do a head and head head to head with the uh, reserve, but uh, I definitely I don't I see myself craving this. It's you know it it will ring a memory bell just because of how unique it is and being a Philippine beer. So that's what's going to be kind of cool. So big deep beer if you great. I think I'm gonna give this one a solid C. Good old solid C.
so not too shabby i hope you all enjoyed watching this if so please hit like subscribe and share check out my group beer reviewers united on facebook a bunch of other awesome reviews that you can check out because you I mean, don't just take my word for it that's what it's all about you're looking at all the reviews i hope you enjoyed this and i hope to catch you here for the next one Till next time salute